What is going on everybody, it's Nothing But Skills. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the best DPS PV build in the game right now. This hands down will destroy anything. This is a heroic control point solo. I, I have my world on heroic and I can do any activity. There is nothing I can't shred in this world. And it feels like challenging back in title update seven. Yes, it only took us about two days to figure this out. I've been working with one of my clan mates and we've been trying at this, we've been trying to figure out what puts out enough damage, what would make us feel like we were back in title update seven. And this build does it. It's a little on the squishy side, so you have to play it with um some cover, right? So this is a looter shooter, cover shooter, cover base shooter. So we're taking advantage of that cover base shooter, but we are putting out so much damage that we just have to play smart with it. And the damage is there. The damage is there. And I was able to clear this level four heroic um, control point in about 10 minutes. Yes, no lie, 10 minutes. And if you guys wanna see that video, let me know in the comment section. I'll show you the full video. These are just clips of it because I want to show you how quick I'm melting these enemies. And this is just, the beginning of more builds to come to this channel. Like I'm trying to bring you guys solid builds that you guys can enjoy, that you guys can finish um, at least heroic level four control points on. Um, even maybe just get you through challenging. But this one right here, 100%, will get you through level four control points. Um, heroic, this was a heroic world. My world is on heroic and I'm telling you, everything just went down so fast. As long as I was hitting my shots. A couple shots I was missing. I stayed in cover most of the time or used my cover to my advantage. But once these guys stopped moving and I got my shot lined up, it was over. So let's get into the build, right? Let's get into the build. So the build we are running has a lot of pieces and this build is using that LMG that I showed you guys earlier um, this week. I showed you an LMG that is the best LMG in the game, probably one of the best guns in the game. So we are only running 664K armor. You guys are like, what? I run like 1.6 and I can't melt like that. Yes, because if you put out a lot of damage, you will melt instantly. We do have 270,000 health with zero skill tier. So for the weapon, we are running um, reload speed on one of them and we are running um, rate of fire on another one. The same exact LMG with the base damage of 105K. Now, the reason why it's so low, well, 105K is not low, but the reason why this is so low is because the build can still be improved and I'll show you guys. So we are running Frenzy for every 10 bullets in the magazine capacity, gain 3% rate of fire and 3% weapon damage for five seconds when reloading from empty. And that's why when you see my gun going off, that amount of damage that I put out, that's 45% extra damage I get when I reload from magazine. Now I also have one that is strained and I don't mind strained. Strained is actually a really good one. Remember you gain 10% critical hit damage for every 0.5 seconds you are firing and that stacks up to five so that's that's some 50 percent extra damage you can um critical hit damage you can get on that build now i do have this mod at the same way i'm running a large pouch on everything i have a laser pointer of five percent crit chance now this right here you can run crit chance if you can control it i prefer the 20 percent stability negative 10 percent optimal range and then on the scope we're running five percent crit chance but let's get into the build itself right because the build is what matters we are running a three priest providence 10% headshot damage, 10% critical hit chance, 15% critical hit damage because we're running a three piece. We have the core attribute of weapon damage. Look, this can be improved right there. We do have armor regeneration and I don't mind having this there. This does help out a little bit. And then we do have critical hit damage, 10.2% and then a mod of critical hit damage for 10.5%. So a lot of critical hit damage on this piece right here. For the chest piece, we have one of the new brand sets, the Cheska. This gives us 10% critical hit chance. We do have weapon damage rolled on here. This is probably one of my weakest pieces besides the backpack. This does have weapon damage, a low weapon damage. It has hazard protection, critical hit damage, and then it has 8% protection from elites. I like that, but I would really like to have the hazard protection. I don't really need the hazard protection, so I'd rather have critical hit chance there. This does have glass cannon. All damage you deal is amplified by 25%. All damage you take is amplified by 50%. That's why staying in cover, Using your surroundings to your advantage makes this build survive. That's that's the only way you can survive. So you have to be play smart with it, but you put out a lot of damage. If we get into the holster, the holster is going to have, this is our second piece of um, Providence. So we have 7.4 weapon damage, really low it can be proved. We have maxed out crit damage at 12%, and then we have a pretty decent um, critical hit chance at 5.4, 6% is the max. So I would like to have more weapon damage on here. If I can get a better one, this would improve the base damage on the LMG. We get into the knee pads. The knee pads, we are running the Grupo Sombre, and this is going to give us 15% critical hit damage. 
we have 12.5 weapon damage on here as the core attribute and for the attributes critical hit chance and then critical hit damage definitely improve the critical hit damage here and maybe improve that weapon damage a little bit the gloves we are running probably one of my favorite pieces to this build the petrov name gloves the contractor gloves remember you get that 11 percent damage to armor no other piece has it that's why it does well i wish i could get another one with higher weapon damage but i can't complain because we did be, we were able to roll that 4.6 critical hit chance on here so ideally a little bit more weapon damage would be better but just getting these gloves with that 11 percent damage to armor makes a difference and when you use them you'll know why the third piece of Providence, we have 6.6 .6 weapon damage. This 100% going to be improved. Probably my weakest piece, and I'm going to keep farming for another one. We do have explosive resistance, which I don't really mind. We could probably get rid of that, put some um, crit hit damage on here to hit a little bit harder. We did have a 3.9 critical hit chance, another low roll, and then we did put a mod on there for 5.2 critical hit chance because I want to max out a 60% crit chance. We have unstoppable killing an enemy increases your weapon damage total weapon damage by five percent for 15 seconds now this stacks up to five so you can get up to 25 um extra weapon damage with unstoppable force and you can do that you can actually do that with this um title update eight with this build right here because you can melt through those golds purples reds so fast just so much damage going on and you're going to see how much crit chance and crit damage that we are running on this build for the skills, I do like running um, the repair drone. The repair drone is going to help you stay alive. It's the only thing that's going to keep you um, staying alive. The fixer drone, repair drone, whatever you guys want to call it. It does give us almost 18,000 heal points with no skill tier. And then it does have almost 1 million HP. And the duration is 186 seconds. Cooldown time isn't too bad at 25 seconds. So I actually like that. Now you do want to have armor repair mod on there. You do want to have a health mod on there or um, scan rage, whatever you want, but you do want that armor repair mod on there. And then for, we run a reviver hive since this is a solo player build, this saves you so much. Put health, um, there's also a mod that gives you more armor when you do get revived, so definitely put that on there if you guys can get that. But we're gonna get into the stats, let's take out the stats. So for the stats, we are running 54% critical hit chance. There's actually 60% once I switch out the 20% stability on the muzzle, if I can get better rolls, 100%, this would be 60%. And then we have 106% critical hit damage, which we can really improve this. 75% headshot damage. We have 11% armor on kill. This is why you see this build just enemies drop, people drop, and it's, it's really, really good. We have 53% all weapon damage and then 34% light machine gun damage. Now, I run this with the gunner class. I think it's the perfect class for that. And the reason why, because of the med kit, that gives you 100% armor plus 50% bonus armor when you pop it. So you get that blue that blue bar that you see on here. Also, you get the 10% armor on kill. You get the 50 round mag. Just a lot going on with, with the gunner class. And I never run out of ammo with the gunner class either. It's usually, it's pretty good. You, you get that, that ammo regen. And I love it. It's, it's probably one of the funnest classes to run with this. The armor on kill is just enough to make this build viable. And if you guys are really having trouble with running something like glass cannon, don't worry about it. You guys can switch that out and then run something like um, Unbreakable. And that would be perfectly fine on this build. And you would still hit pretty hard. So just your, just play with it. See how it goes. Just I just wanted to show this last clip of me clearing the solar farm. So that you guys know I wasn't lying and that, that I did clear this, right? So this was a level 4 heroic um control point now activities on heroic are even easier man these red bars oh, look look at this this is heroic look at the top this is look how quick this ends like all the activities are so simple to do like um you may get dropped but that's the reason for the revive i ran out of ammo but look how quick these guys are dropping it's it's just no no contest here they, they might as well just not even come out of that door when when i kill them because they just drop, drop, drop. I think the only time that they almost get me is when I have to reload. Yeah, look, see right there? You see how the glass cannon can catch you if you don't if you don't stay in cover? But look, when I'm in cover, nothing can get me. Now, I'm about to get dropped right here, and this is why I tell you the Reviver Hive is actually really good because I'm getting shot in the back. He gets me, boom, right? That 50% extra incoming damage. But look at the Reviver Hive. That's why you guys want to run the Reviver Hive. You get back up, you clear it out, and... That's it, it's that simple. This is probably the best DPS build in the game, and if not, probably one of the best builds in the game for the fact that you can farm really quick. If you just wanna farm challenging, you will have no issues with this. This is all heroic, so these guys hit really hard. 
look at that activities are really quick um level four control points are really quick and this is the build so don't forget if you guys enjoyed this build right here you leave a thumbs up it helps me out share this with your friends let them know hey nothing but skills just put out some fire today um if you're new hitting the subscribe button turn the notification bell on so you guys get notified when my videos go live really helps me out so i will see you guys in the next one if you guys have any questions use the comment section down below but until then nothing but skills is out